is good what is good my peeps welcome back to the greenhorn show well uh today we're gonna do a little quick birthday hunt at my favorite park um i mean we got a little bit of time i'm gonna try to search this park a little bit more see if i can't find anything good um show you everything i can from here from this hunt and then i'm gonna after this after this hunt i'm gonna show you guys a couple other things I found on some other hunts that I had um, didn't really find too many good things but I did find two good things you know I mean uh, so I'll show you the clips of that and so yeah I mean hopefully we can find something good on my birthday so let's give it a go it's nice and quiet it's raining so at some point I might just just show you the finds because I don't want to get my phone wet so I just might just show you the finds and uh, might not show you the beeps all right my peeps let's get to it Solid target right there at six inches. Definitely got a target right here. Right by a room. Is that an edge of silver I see? What is that? Is that a key? Where is that? <laughs> it's kind of some kind of chain. Oh, six inches down. There's writing on it. It says something, two thousand three. Show you guys. Some kind of a bracelet or something. Check when we get home. Cool, fine. All right, my peeps, it started raining, and just my luck. As it starts raining, look at that. We got edge. It looks like we got my got silver. Just before it got dark, I don't know what it is though. Let's get it out of there. We got edge, yo. Yep. What can it be? What can it be? I know it's silver for sure. Let's clean it up. I think that might be another Rosie. That might be our second Rosie. Give me a second. Oh my God, dude. Just as the, it started raining, I turned off the, I turned it off and I put it in my pocket and boom. Yep, that's our second Rosie. Look at that. Nineteen fifty-four. I can see it nice and clear now. And I don't know how many times I've been over this spot. Look at that. It cleaned up real nice. All right, my piece, I'll see you guys in the wrap of 1954. I don't see a mint. Oh, yep, there's an S back there. Or I'll see, I'll, I'll put a screenshot for you guys right now, and I'll see you guys, you guys will see it in the wrap up. Nice. Yes, 
some kind of design and stuff. And you know what, my peeps? I know exactly what this is. My peeps, I think we just found a switchblade. I can see a little bit of the knife right here. That's why it's kind of ringing a little weird. But you can see kind of, there's a piece of a, or a switch is right here. Wow, that is awesome. I think this is my first knife. We're gonna clean it up when we get home, I'll show you guys. Wow, that is cool. That's my first, I, I think it's a knife. I mean, more than likely it's a knife, but I think it's a switch blade. Oh, I'm gonna stop messing with it before I break it. No, I'm gonna keep it. It's a ring, my peeps. It's a ring. 44.45. It's ringing up like gold, but it's kind of cracked. I don't know. It has a heart on it. Doesn't look like gold, it just looks like a little junk ring. It might be, I don't know. It looked like it had a little something right here. You guys can see this. Oh my god, it's a ring. That's two rings today. I had a little short hunt at this new park. And then this ring. Alright my peeps, well welcome to the wrap up. Alright, we'll get to the goodies in a bit. Was all the junk right here? Pulled a whole bunch of pull tabs, a whole bunch of different dates, um, some foils, all your uh, bottle caps. I mean, you gotta pull them, pull tabs and bottle caps if you want them good targets. Um, miscellaneous metals and electronic stuff, some kind of metals, random metals. Your smoking paraphernalia. Belt buckle, no belt buckle. It's not that old, I don't think. So, zipper. It was pretty deep too, so I think it's, it's something that's old. Old jacket or old something. That was pretty deep. Uh, all your old, uh, I mean all your iron. A whole bunch of old iron, deep iron. All your zinc ends. I uh, found this deep, 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 deep spoon. This was like about eight, eight or nine, eight, no, about seven or eight inches. It's green. It was super deep, so I know it's old. I'm not sure how old, but it is old. Got another key, and I believe this is a key too. 
an old key because it's, I mean, the way it was shaped, it was, it broke on me. I was trying to clean it up. It, it shaped like a key. So if you guys know how to clean uh, old iron, I mean, let me know so I could, uh, so I could start cleaning all the iron and stuff. I might have to start looking at my iron better because, um, some of this iron these old relics like that one that we'll get to right now. But yeah, I think that's a key. And then uh, we got your zinc ends, your nickels, still no buff. No war nickel, no buff. Uh, Lincoln Memorials, loads of dimes, loads of quarters. Uh, heart pendant, that's not gold. I, I believe that's fake diamonds. I don't have a diamond tester. One day I'll get one, one of these days. Uh, charm, the, one of the rings that you guys seen in the video, it broke on me though, I was trying to clean it and it broke, it snapped, and then the other ring that I found, uh, says, uh, love awaits on it, let's see if it focuses, yep, there it is, love awaits, you can't see that it got dark on me, but yeah, that was a nice one, I believe that's brass, it has a little bit of gold plating plating on it, and I believe this is this may be old too. I think maybe this is maybe from the forties, fifties, sixties, somewhere around there. I think it has a little age to it. Look, it was it was underneath underneath the root. I found it in the dark. I wasn't able to show you guys that good. I found it right towards the end, going towards the car. So that was a good one. That was a nice find. Wasn't gold, but it's still cool. I mean, it's it's antique. It's old. And then uh, this nice uh, bracelet that I thought was going to be junk. You know, just junk um, jewelry, uh, costume jewelry. But nope, ended up being silver. Uh, sterling silver. I ended up looking around it. I cleaned it off a little bit, and I used a little bit of toothpaste. I looked a little bit more in, in on it, and sure enough, it, it, it you guys seen the screenshots that it had a uh, it had a uh, sterling silver on it 925 and then i found this marble deep like around seven inches with one of these irons i'm not sure which one it was but it was deep down there so a kid must have lost it it's 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 different from all the rest of the marbles i've ever seen it's, it's a lot thicker and a lot bigger than normal marble so i think it is an older marble and then the, well, the best two finds, we'll get to this one, I guess we'll get to the dime first, after, but this one right here, this, this, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm a little sad that it's not intact, obviously, I mean, but obviously you can see the age on it, this thing was caked, I mean, caked in iron, and when the first one I pulled, first pulled it out of the ground, I thought it was just going to be some random iron like this. And like that, you know, and then I got, I seen this part right here. And I remember as a kid, I used to have a switchblade, uh, I mean, a modern switchblade. And then, and then one that was a comb. I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever had one of those switchblades that had a comb on it. Um, but yeah, I ended up finding, uh, this and it was all caked with, with iron and I ended up cleaning it and, uh, the blade wasn't in there no more. The blade wasn't in there, so, you know, I was kind of disappointed, but obviously, since the blade is gone, then it shows its age, you know? And uh, in the screenshots, I don't think it was a wood one, because if it was wood, I still think that then the wood would would have still been intact somewhat. And so I think it was a black, black tip, uh, black handle. Yeah, so, I mean... I've been waiting to find a knife, an old knife or an old, uh, I mean, one of them old wooden knives. But this is awesome too, a switchblade. I believe this, this, I tried to find a date for this and it's, I believe it dates anywhere from the 40s to 60s. I mean, correct me if you, if, if you guys know the date on this, but I do believe it's from the 40s or 60s. It was about, it was about six inches deep. And, um... It, it was an awesome, awesome find, you know. I, I'm just so happy to have found this. 
So yeah, let me know if you guys have ever found a switchblade like this. Or, uh, I mean, anything that looks like this. A wooden one or even a metal one. And then, I mean, to the best find, you know, this 1954 um, uh, Roosevelt Diamond is rosy. Uh, it's uh, San Francisco. Let me see if I can focus on the S. There it is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right below right there. Yep, there it is. So, 1954S. So I, I found, and actually found this one right before I, I turned the, uh, the phone off because it started raining on me. And I didn't want to get this, this phone all wet. So, I turned it off and then like about five or six inches down, boom, there was a 1954 right there, Rosie. 90% silver. I mean, that was an awesome find. This is my second. I mean, I guess technically you could say it's my second Rosie. Full Rosie, because uh, the first Rosie I ever found was clipped and no date on it. So this is my second full Rosie. And it's beautiful, beautiful, super clean. You know, such a beautiful coin. So happy to have it. But yeah, my peeps, I mean, this is the wrap-up. and I mean, thank you guys for uh, for staying around. I mean, those, those of you guys that stuck around through the whole video. Uh, I only put... I mean the best finds because I mean I've found, obviously I mean I found loads of iron, loads of junk, junk metals and a whole bunch of clad and zinc ends and coppers and stuff. So I mean I, I just thought that it'd be best if I put the best finds only, which was the switchblade, uh, th that ring, that ring, the silver uh, bracelet, and then the silver rosy. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to just have a whole bunch of clad in the video. So, yeah. You know I mean, uh, thank you, my peeps, for you know I mean, watching the, the whole video and watching the video overall. And I appreciate it. I mean, let me know if you guys ever found a knife like this in the comments. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another adventure. All right, my peeps. Well, like I always say, don't hate. Throw a bait. Alright, my peeps, stay safe. Check you guys later.